Here I'm going to explain the group concat function in MySQL. It's important to realize that similar functions exist in all the different SQL databases, but in MySQL, the name of that function is called group concat. Group concat becomes useful after you've mastered the normal types of selects and joins in SQL language. And it's particularly useful when you've got many to many relationships between entities in a database. So I've got an example of a, such a database here. I've got a database called a library and I've got authors, I've got books, but the relationship between authors and books is many to many. That is that a book can have many authors, but also an author can have many different books. And to allow that ha to happen, I need a junction or associative table. And this is my associative table here. I've got two foreign keys, author foreign key and book foreign key. And let's take a look at a browse of those different items here. In this junction table, I am using a primary key identifier field as well. But the most important part of this table is these two fields here, the actual book foreign key and the author foreign key. So I can see that author one, they have written a number of different books. And author two has written a book as well. But there is one book, book with the ID of 16, that has been written by both author 1 and author 2. They are joint authors of that book. The two tables either side of this junction table are obviously the T books table. And I've got the book ID there that's going to relate into the foreign key field in the junction table. And I've also got the T authors table. And I've got an author ID field that's going to link into the author foreign key field in the junction table. The two different authors that I was talking about before who have books written were JK Rowling as author ID number one and Owen Calfer as author ID number two. I'm now going to do an SQL query that joins those three tables together. This is in PHP my admin, so I'm going to go to the SQL tab at the top and do First of all, a select from tbooks. Then join the junction table using the on keyword. Let the primary key field of tbooks equal to the foreign key field in the junction table. For the moment, let's just see if that query works and how it looks. And I can see I'm joining those different tables together I've got the range of different fields across there where I see all of the different fields from the books table, but also I've joined on the three different fields from the junction table as well. I'm going to go back now and join on the authors table as well. And that select query should join on the authors table as well. Again, allowing the author ID field, the primary key field from the authors table, to be equal to the author foreign key field in the junction table. Let's run that query. And I can see the results of that query. Again, I've got the result set here with all of the different fields of the books table, the three different fields of the junction table, and then the two different fields of the authors table. This join that I'm after doing is not particularly selective in that it's giving me all of the different fields from all three tables. I'm going to amend the actual query just to pick out the title field from the books table and also the author field from the authors table. So now when I run that query, yes, I can see all of the different titles of the books and all of the different authors' names. I can see all the JK Rowling books and there are a lot of the different Harry Potter books. And I can see the different own Calfer books, which is this Artemis Fowl. But also we've got this alternative book, which is called Artemis Potter, which is written by both J.K. Rowling and Owen Colfer. They are joint authors. But this particular book, the record is coming up twice for it because essentially in the junction table, I needed two different records to represent this many-to-many -many relationship between the authors on one side and the book on the other. What I would prefer here is to have a single record come back in this query result and combine or concatenate both J.K. Rowling and Owen Colfer together in one single cell in that set. This is what the group concat function can do. Returning to my SQL, I would like to group by the title. But group by title is not a one-to-many relationship, it's a many-to-many -many relationship.
and also the author name field contains text so I can't make an aggregate query here. If I click on go on that query I'll actually get an SQL error that tells me such. So what I can do is still keep group by title here but return to author name in the field list and use the group concat function to group together any time two authors write the one book with the same title. So now if I click go on that query I can see what I was looking for here. Artemis Potter now has been written by two different authors who are represented in two different records in the authors table but now are concatenated together in one cell in this query result set. And that is essentially the basics of the group concat function.